Hey everyone, welcome to Vigaro University. Today, I'll show you how to issue a refund for a product or service. You can issue refunds to customers for any purchased items and for products, return them to your stock. Let me show you how it works. There are multiple ways we can initiate a refund. Through the checkout screen and customer management, we can select a customer, then select refund in the top right. A history of our customer's purchases will display and we can select refund next to the desired item. We can also initiate a refund through reports, transaction list. We can adjust the date range and filter by a specific customer to help locate the desired transaction. We'll select refund to the right to initiate the process. Vergara will display the details of the transaction, including a breakdown of all items sold. To the right, we will be presented with options on how to issue the refund, like cash, credit, gift card, or other options. Depending on how the customer originally paid, only certain options will be available. For example, if a customer originally paid via credit card, we can issue a refund via cash, credit, or gift card. If a customer paid using a package, we can only refund the value back to their package. Unavailable options will be grayed out. We will select the box under the desired refund method, then on the pop-up window, we will confirm how much to refund. For product returns, we will have the extra option to return the item to our stock. We will select Next, then we'll have the option to split the value by payment method. We'll select Confirm, then return to the original refund screen. We can repeat this process to refund other items if desired. At the bottom, we'll enter a reason for the refund, then select whether to email or print a receipt for our customer. Once ready, we will select Refund and the transaction will be complete. If we have a merchant account, credit card refunds will be issued to the customer's card automatically. Any products that we selected to return to our stock will appear back in our inventory. On the transaction list, we will see a new record confirming the refund. The original transaction will display a label showing it has been refunded. The same transaction cannot be refunded twice. If we issued a partial refund, we cannot go back to refund the remaining amount. To help track refunds in the transaction list, we can expand the advanced filters, select Show Refunded Items Only, then run our report. For more helpful tips and tricks, click the Vigaro University link in the description below.